So, Sparshas Bishalach, we are getting ready for Shabbat and um, wanted to share just a few thoughts to make uh, our Shabbat with our spouse more beautiful. We have to understand there's a Gemara, actually a few Gemaras, a few places in the Gemara that speaks about Rabbi Akiva and his wife, Rachel. And uh, we know the famous story that um, he went to study for 12 years and then he went for another 12 years <clears throat> and he comes back from his learning with his 24,000 students and uh, all of a sudden there's a woman that comes and and, and drops us at her feet, at the feet of uh, Rabbi Akiva. And the students are like, yeah, it was something, uh, you know, it's not sneers, it's not uh, outrageous. You can't do that to Rabbi Akiva. And Rabbi Akiva say, no, 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 don't touch her. She is my wife and Sheli, Shelachem, Shela. Everything that is mine, anything, everything that is yours <coughs> is all hers. So, you know, it's a nice story, <laughs> of course. We have to try to understand what that means. You know, the, the, the Gemara doesn't say stories. Oh, it's so romantic. It's so beautiful. Uh, it's telling you a reality of what the woman is, what your wife is, right? What the mother of your kids is. It's saying that the reason you have the job you have, the reason you have an, the money that you have, the reason you have the house, the kids that you have, is all thanks to her. The woman is, in Kabbalah, I speak about them like the Merkava. Now we know the Avos were the Merkava for Hashem, right? That meaning that they brought the influence of Hashem into the world. They brought the goodness of Hashem in the world. Well, guess what? Your wife is that supernatural being. That you know, we, we don't understand it. So Why do you mean she, she's home, she's taking care of the kids, you know, she's cooking or she's working a little bit. Like, she's not different than me. Well, that's where we get it all wrong. Because the secret of the woman is all inside. Right? That's woman is all about snooze. It's all the hiddenness. It's hiding the greatness of, 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 of the neshama. Um, it's hiding the tremendous light inside. So it's something that we need to really... Um, think about that everything that I get right is is for my wife and one might think oh you know if I was not married I'll get the same thing well no <laughs> you might get some things yes because you know God promised to um, sustain us uh, as it's our basic needs but um, the goodness in your life and even more than that, the spirituality that you need for your growth to connect to God, but as well as your physical success, is very dependent on your wife. The more your wife will be happy, the more you have chances to access the package that you are meant to be given, that we this decide on Rosh Hashanah what you're going to get. So you want to access the full package? That depends on your wife. It, it, uh, you know, I know when I speak, I sound very pro, uh, like a feminist almost. Um, but there's a very strong reason for that. Is we have to understand, Robert Yaakov Hillel, in one of his uh, books, something I think it's uh, Jacob's Ladder. Uh, he he says that you know one of the curse is that uh, of a woman was given is that the men will dominate you. You will be dominated, the woman will be dominated by the man. Um, and this is a curse, okay? <laughs> it's, not the, it's, not, it's not the blessing for them um, because nobody should feel dominated. But he says that in our generation, he wrote that book at least 10, 15 years ago. And he says in our generation, the curse have, is, is fixed. We see the rise, and in Kabbalah, they speak a lot about it, of the rise of the feminine female energy the female power we see women that have more power than ever before and this is because on a deeper level the 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 female the feminine energy is what's necessary to bring moshiach to give birth to moshiach 
and to 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 create the last tikkun, because it all started with Eve in Gan Eden with the with the sin of Adam and Chava. So what it means is that now we're in a generation where the feminine power has to rise and men who don't treat it with respect and don't uh, really appreciate what a woman is, what the female power is, are, um, are going to be lost, are going to lose everything. They're not going to have a wife or they're not going to have children or they're not going to have the blessing. So this is something that we need to reflect, understand. Everything that we have is thanks to the woman. We understand the power of the woman, the greatness of the woman. There's something hidden, something spiritual, something deep. And that our whole job as a man is to try to see her greatness. Okay, even Adam Arishon didn't see her greatness at the beginning. That's why he didn't call her Chava. He called her Isha at the beginning. You're an extension of me. You're nothing more than a piece of meat coming from me. Right? But no, 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 no. She's much more. She's the Chava. She's the, the Chai Olamim. She's the life force, the life of, of, of the people. So, uh, you know, there's Rav Ben Shetrit was a very big Rav uh, in France. So he says um, that... You know why we are not in love? Because we are lost admiration and for the for each other. And you know why we don't we lost admiration for each other? Because we lost respect from, for each other. And you know why we lost respect for each other? Is because we're not being respectable to ourselves. Um, so the first step to true love is really to have respect for the other to realize the greatness of the other. When you think of your spouse, when you think of your wife, when you think of your husband, how, how do you feel respect for them? Do you, are you able to see that um, they are special? You chose that man or that woman because she was special, right? You, you saw she was different. But sometimes with the things of life, now I'm not saying women are perfect. Everybody has its you know, baggage. But um, we lose track of the greatness, just like life, you know. I should be happy just to be alive, no matter what happens during the day, craziness, but I should be happy to be alive because that's the essence, that's, that's, that's the true greatness. Modani Lefanecha is the first thing we start. Thank you, God, for giving life. I should be happy just for that. But why we get distracted for, with all the details of life? So same thing, we have to be careful not to be distracted with the details of the mistake that our spouse makes and, 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 and lose respect. Because we all have a baggage, right? But we respect ourselves, right? We love ourselves technically, we forgive ourselves. So we need to do the same for the others and stay focused on the good, on the good points. Not being hurt too much at least or trapped by the the, the anger, the fights, the, the things that are, keep happening. Because all this can change. Who she is in essence, the goodness, the soul that that, that person is, this always stays. So you always have the good to go back to. So when you understand that you need to to respect her, so first it has to step, you have to try first to see that the, the respect, the areas, don't focus on the bad, right? We have to then they have schooled anyway, we have to judge favorably, starting with our own spouse. But very often men forget that women are like the moon. One day she's full, another day she's, 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 she's dark. Well, one day she has her hormones, another she doesn't have her hormones, right? A woman who is pregnant is not the same woman. A woman who is, has her period is not the same woman. A woman who, who, who is with her mother-in-law or her parents is not the same woman. Uh, and, and, and we have, and the woman after she gives birth is not the same woman. We are dealing with multi-personality, you know, not disorder, but uh, it will appear to be a disorder. It's, the men have the same thing in different contexts, but here speaking about the woman. So we have to focus, but my wife, my wife, not the mother, not the, the Nida, not the, you know, the, the, the wife. Your wife is 
you you were able to respect her and when you chose her to get married you saw something valuable there so stay focused on that that's the start of the respect then then you have to admire you admire by seeing everything that she has done just the fact that she chose you you should be happy already because who say you deserve it well god decide you deserved it because she gave you only god uh, god only give you the woman you deserve remember that okay this is hazal i think it's gemar uh gemar sota i forgot where but um the Chazal says a man is received his wife according to his deeds. So you have the perfect match based on your deeds, right? So you get only who you deserve. Now, you get only who you deserve. So the woman you have is what you deserve. So, so, so she's perfect match for you to be who you're supposed to be. And therefore, you know, there are things you don't like. Well, there's a reason why God gave you a woman with those problems. Have you ever thought about that? Why does my wife has those problems? Because those are the problems I need to figure out to deal with. Maybe it's because you need you have that problem within you, like the Baal Shem Tov says, you only see the problems that you yourself have has have uh, unconsciously, or it's to push you to be uh, to work on a certain character traits, maybe patient, maybe humility, or or or, or, or maybe it's because. Um, these are the traits that you need to recognize so that it doesn't pass into the kids and therefore you're both going to need to work on that so the kids don't have that trait then may, may, maybe many or maybe it's a tikkun from the previous life that um, you did you were very uh, impatient and now your woman takes so much time and now you're getting very impatient so you have to work on patience so all those are, are, are reasons to, under, to understand to, to accept the fact that your wife is designed perfectly for you the perfect match and and the perfect match doesn't mean that um, you know it's you're supposed to feel love love is not has nothing to do with no, I shouldn't say nothing to do but the love is not the primary reason we get married we get married to be fixed we get married to get close to God to, we get married to work on ourselves before the love then by realizing all this then is gonna the love is gonna come so you want to go back to love no, the love we have at the beginning of marriage is, is not true love. That's like uh, infatuation, it's uh, attraction, you know, romanticism, whatever, erotism, whatever, all that stuff. It, that's, that's, not, that's not true love. That's emotional love. This is one of the fifth level of, of love. What we want is divine love, spiritual love. The, the love that is, is transcend everything, that I'm with you no matter what. Nothing can break our relationship. None, no fight can break anything because we're together still for life forever. We have one mission and we'll go through the better and for the worse to get there. And that you have a love. That's, it's a breeze. It's a, a unity that cannot be broken. That's true love. It's deeper than just the emotions. So when we feel, oh, I don't feel love anymore for her. Well, <laughs> you're only speaking about one aspect of love. Then you're not truly in love, my friend. The, 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 the emotional love that we're supposed to get is takes time. And, and it's, it's ups and downs. But the more you love her truly, the more you'll be able to tap into that emotional love. So, respect. Respect her. See, see that she has something unique. Admire her. Admire everything. The fact that she gave you children already. You should be thankful your whole life and not have anything to say for her giving children. You gave a seed. Oh, you had, oh, I had pleasure. Yeah, great. For ten, ten, ten seconds, you gave a seed. She had to carry your child for nine months, nine crazy months, and she had to give birth. Something that no man will wish for himself. Just that we should not have anything to say till the rest of our life she made you a father she allowed you to be a father to be a family man just that you know you should not be able, allowed to complain for anything because she she didn't complain that uh oh, i'm having a baby well she may complain about the pain and all that but but she she had a baby for you so 
admire her, admire that a woman is the the, the who the the power of of the feminine power that a woman is soft. The power is a woman is emotional. You know, if there was only were only women, there would be no war, there would be no fight. Women only want to to look. They only want love. They only want peace. They want only want harmony. They only want unity with a husband they want their husband to love them they want to spend more time with them but we guys we men we uh, we're, we're thinking of our business of our everyday life of our you know ego who am i becoming a tamid hacham a super businessman you know an athletic guy a strong man like it's all based on the ego when really the only true ego we can have is to be a good husband. So try to admire, learn to admire her, make a list of all the things that she has done. Sometimes we think, oh, work, you know, that you working all day and her taking care of the house all day is as difficult, if not more difficult to take care of the house than the kids. Because you're, you work, so you're making money, you know, you're using brand and, but, but when you're home, you feel like uh, I'm not doing uh, much anything. It's much harder. You don't necessarily see the purpose of being home all day and taking care of the home and cooking. That's why I'm I. I'm, I'm a clean lady and a cook and a, and, and, and a babysitter. Well, try to do that for one day. No, mo no man wants to do that. Oh, but the woman is fine. Well, yes, you were giving the qualities, the super qualities to do that. But it's as great, if not greater, than the guy who is working all day and is busy with his ego and making money. It feels good to make money. And of course, the woman has that feeling of feeling good to be a mother and, and a wife or stay home. But we have to understand that, um, that for, for the women who are home, we should have tremendous akaratatov, tremendous gratitude. Um, and so too should the woman have gratitude for the husband working, but they should admire each other for what they do for their role. So these, these, those, those are the things. And beside that, admiring the qualities of the other, you should be able to say what's unique about my, my life, wife. What does she do in life? Maybe she does a chesed for for people. You know, she she she's a giver. Maybe she's, you know, so patient with the kids. Maybe she's so. Um, loving with 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 friends and or she doesn't speak like Shonara, or she's pressed a limb all day every wife has something incredibly beautiful learn to admire your wife once you learn to admire your wife then you love her emotionally much more then you, you'll be able to stand in much more love you're going to re-spark the fire ish isha so my friends this is our great mission and job as jews and as non-Jews too, but as Jews, we are supposed to be the role models. So that, like I always like to repeat, Moshiach, Chidush, the greatness of Moshiach is that he's going to show what a true couple is, a real married couple. So we, we have to understand that, and, and Moshiach is going to say, you know where I got all my power? From my wife. Right? That's what the Lubavitch Rebbe said, that that I got the, my my Chaya Yechida, the fourth and fifth level of the Neshama from, from my wife. Everything I am is because of her. Just like Rabbi Akiva said. There are not too many people who say that. Only two. Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Rebbe. But we should we should work on, on, on saying that. So there's three three places in, in, the, in the Gemara that speaks about the story of Rabbi Akiva. Sheli v'shelachem shelah. That's what you have to tell your kids. Sheli, what's mine? Try this Shabbat. You said, what's mine and what is yours, kids, it's all hers. Try to say it a few times. Or say to, to you, try to repeat the mantra. What, everything that is mine is only thanks to her. Everything is mine is hers. The only reason I have money, I have, I have uh, on my job and all, all, all the great life that I have is only thanks to her. Remember that your wife only comes back. It's only reincarnated. The woman doesn't need to be reincarnated. She's Shasali Kertsono. She, she, I am made according to God's will. I'm basically per, per, perfect. I have barely mitzvot. I don't need the brismila. I, 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 I am much more perfect than men. 
אבל נשמה דבינה יסרה. So, so she, she, she's, she's like everything that we need and, and that's why Moshiach says my, the, who I am is thanks to, to, to my wife. The main energy that I have, my power to bring redemption, it comes from my wife. The most powerful energy of Moshiach is the feminine power. So if, although Moshiach is going to be a man, the main energy of his power to be Moshiach, it can come from his wife. So keep the mantra. Try to repeat everything that is mine. It's because hers. It's thanks to her. Everything that I have. Everything that I am. She is reincarnated just for you. Have some rachmanut. Um, have 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 some mercy. Have some um, gratitude that she came back in this world just for you, because you messed up in the previous life and you needed to be reincarnated to fix your 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 soul, and she came back just for you. Just for that, you should be thankful a lifetime of thankful okay so may we all be grateful may we, we all admire our spouse our wife and and the more you do that the more she's gonna change the more she the less she's gonna complain the more she's gonna want to love you and and to to be nice and do what you need what you want okay but we have you know like in the previous video as i said we have to be the initiator so Learn to respect, be respectable yourself, learn to respect, admire, and then you'll be able to truly love them. Shabbat shalom everyone, and have an amazing marriage.